I equate the record to like Bill Haley and the Comets, Rock Around the Clock, right? It, rock and Roll was before that song, but that named, that, that gave everybody the name. Because right after Move Your Body came out, reporters start coming from all over the world. What's house music? What's house music? What's house music? Right? So, you know, Move Your Body said, gotta have house music all night long with that house music. You can't go wrong, you know, give me that house music. Then it's called the house music anthem. My idea was like, I only had like maybe like $120. Yeah. So I had to come in there and tell the engineer, look, I'm ready to go. Like, put this beat. I'm gonna play this bass line, I'm gonna put this synthesizer, and this bitch is gonna sing, and we're getting the fuck out of here. That's what I would do. It's like. I always thought music happens in cycles, and it's always for the next generation to come in and, and change it and discover it again. And I've noticed every seven to ten years, it seems to happen again. There's a resurgence of producers and DJs and, and just music people that wanna go out and dance. And, they pretty much started the same way as I started. I wanted to have a place to go and party and make music and play music. And that's what it is. The next generation is doing the same thing and they learn on different machines. You know, now everyone's using like a, you know, iPads or, you know, whatever these new programs are. It's a lot easier for everyone to make this stuff now than, than we had it growing up because we had to go into a studio. You had to learn how to engineer. You had to have gear. Now you can, I can do it in my iPad or, you know, or my you know, iPod at this point. But it's, it's just the same thing. Kids coming up who want to do some music and want to play music, want to listen to music and have fun. And that's all it is. And they started doing the same way we did, learning the production, learning how to make it work. And the very basic elements of it is the same kind of music and the same groove. The groove's always there. And I think that's that's the key, and that's why it's coming back around again, because the same elements that we started with, the same elements that everyone else is starting with, again, it's just another generation coming and doing it. Hey, you. Um, I just wanted to uh, wish everyone a happy new year. Uh, sorry that I haven't been keeping up with the Kwanzaa stuff. I've been deep, deep in this house project. Um, so the next project, so, uh, that, that, sorry. The next album is gonna be House. Um, Black Boy Wonderment is the name of it. First single, hopefully, by, uh, Valentine's Day. It's gonna be a nasty song, you know, for everybody that, you know, that, that they don't wanna get the fuck. Um, I'm really excited about it. I've been deep, deep in it, which is why I haven't really been posting. But happy new year to you. Thank you for your support, for rocking with me. Um, I'm going to try to do this whole thing more. I don't know how that's going to work, but we'll try it. We so coming to the stage, we've got the ism. All right. All right. I had gotten to a place where misery was no longer serving me and I got tired of waking up in depression and hating myself and I really wanted to know what joy and happiness felt like without status or material things being attached to it and wonderment gave me a way out. I hadn't been this happy working on a project in a while it kind of wasn't fun anymore. It became, every show became a, 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 oh, see me, pick me, pick me, instead of, this is what I do. And the freedom that you have in house music kind of gives you that space to be able to be free. And that was what I needed, and I really feel like that's what brought me back. Because I was, I was almost done. Like dun dun. Where's the VIP in this party? Short it time to get naughty. Drive, I leave the car when you buy me. I may have to dip sip, dip sip. Let's get crazy up in this bitch. All I've been a corner talking your shit. Okay, I got it back up, so. This step before and after. Black King ring all about the bastards. I am, I got among the rappers. You got the shit. Where's the VIP in this party? 
Shut it, time to get naughty. Drive a little car when you bomb me. I may have to dip set, dip set. Let's get crazy up in this bitch. I'll have a corner talking your shit. No pogo, please hop off my dick. Place the overseas, he bout to get rich like, oh. He the black Rob Lyro. On your mark, get set, let go. He got the juice like, yo, yo, you want a sip like, no, this, that, before and after. Black came rain all above the bastards. I am a yacht among the rafters. I won the race. Insert the clappers like. Body, face, I up in this place. A truck that's kind of shade. You ought to get laid, cause I'm badder than the motherfucker. You wish you had a brother. I up in this mother. Dudes be madder than the motherfucker. I am on a bit Joneses. One day while visiting my grandmother, my aunt was like, oh, your stomach is so big, it shouldn't be that big for you to be so young. And it made me even more insecure than I already was. Um, shortly after that, I began my intermittent fasting journey, which proved to be a great thing for me. And my stomach went down, and I was like, you know what, let me get in the gym. And I realized that a lot of my body issues had to deal with social media and the pressures of looking a certain type of way. And then it was just like, you know what, fuck that. I'm doing this for me. Like, I'm not doing this for likes. I'm doing it because I want to look in the mirror and I want to feel good about me. Fuck social media. Fuck likes. The seven white balloons represents someone that I've lost in my life. My dad, my three uncles, friends, brothers. And this was my way of letting them know that I was grateful for them watching over me for their protection. And because this album means so much to me, I wanted them to be a part of it. I wanted to make my father proud, my uncles proud, my friends, my brothers, and I just hope that they're proud of me. Hey, yo, we out here. We are out here. Word, what's good, what's good? You all ready? So, what had happened was, we were supposed to shoot yesterday, but we kind of got, you know, a little rained out or whatever. Then I woke up and all my balloons had pretty much deflated. So, we ran around to get balloons. Now we up here, where, where are we again? Uh, Skyline Drive, Ringwood, what? Rempo State Park. I.e. White, white, white for territory. So you know, you know, we're being very, very. Hi, hi, how are you? <laughs> yeah, cause we don't want no problems. Nope. We two black men in the woods. Hold on, I think we just found a spot. All right, bye, y'all. <laughs> By the way, everyone, 
This is Emilio, aka Hot Wobble, <laughs> who I have signed on to be my doula, to, well, my doula to have this baby. I'm very, very grateful to this man because he he really saved the record, like on some real shit. There was some, there were a lot of things that I could not. That I couldn't do because I didn't have the wherewithal and the knowledge. And he literally, I've been taking notes of things that he's been saying to me so that I can go back and become a better producer. <laughs> so, thank you. You got In front it, of man. Everyone. My pleasure. Yeah. So, what do you got for me here? Remove in the zone ad lib in the intro. So, during my speaking part. This thing? I remember the first time. Oh, um, where is these? Those guys. guys. So. Yeah, okay. So, you just, you just want them out? Yeah. Okay. Done. This alone, it sounds like a fucking 90s house song. I know. <laughs> wow. That's it. That's it. That's fucking it. <laughs> Funny, dude. Oh, yeah, just a different option. Yeah, it's a That's it. thicker box. So, yeah, all that is, right, is like... <laughs> Glad you're happy. Um... So yeah, so this, I was using like this thing before, didn't like the vibe. You okay? <laughs> this song is my baby, bro. I know, I know. This song is my baby. Oh my God, you killed it. You don't want to smoke, bro. You don't want to smoke, bro. Oh, fuck. Yeah. It's so much science to it. It's 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 like it's a lot of little things that add up to a big difference. Uh -huh. So so when you hear like the A and B of beginning to end, it's like holy shit. But if you look at the individual steps, it's like yes. Oh my god. I need my delay back on the hook. You gave me a note about this earlier. You said um. With the dry wet, if it's over 50, did you get more more effect in the vocal? Yeah, you're gonna hear more, like on a delay, you'll hear more of the delayed sound than what went into it. For the breakdown, that's what I actually want. Okay, well, let's, one thing But for this, I, I, I need to get so here's that delay back. Right. Right in the back. Right. Right in the back. Larry was really wild when we were young. I mean, orange hair, this, that, and the other. You know, in a period where it just wasn't done. You know, and uh, he went to Erasmus High School. You know, so they weren't having it. <laughs> they were not having it. In Brooklyn, Erasmus was not having it. Well, I mean, he took about as much of it as he was going to take, and that was it. <laughs> but I mean, I remember going to have to meet him a couple times at school, and one day I went there to meet him, and <laughs> Larry would do shows, let me tell you. Larry was outside the school. This was one particular day I was going to meet him. He was outside in front of the school on top of this Volkswagen with this orange head. And he had on a midriff, he had on a midriff shirt, and he had on these jeans where the hips was cut out. So actually there was only a piece covering up his genitals in the front. Yeah, and, and, and the crack is behind, but the rest of his hips was cut out. <laughs> and he was on top of this car doing this dance of the seven veils, as we used to call because he was doing this number and stuff like that. And baby, these boys were standing out there in front of that school, and they were, all of a sudden, they was like, get in. And all, all I saw was a streak of orange just go. You know, and I'm across the street, and I'm like, oh, shit. So, they didn't know me. I just saw them going after him. So, I'm running to try and find out exactly where he's going. I mean, Larry could move. And I'm running behind to try and find out exactly what's going on and what's going to happen. You know, I eventually met up with him at his house later on. He got away from him. How, I'd never know, because it was enough of them. A few of the founding fathers of house music were black gay men. And they're not going to tell you that side of the story. But I'm glad I did my research, you know. T. Scott, Frankie Knuckles, Larry LeVan. These were 
brothers fucking shit up in the club. And I'm really, really glad that I discovered them. And I wasn't only inspired by them. It was Marshall Jefferson and Tony Humphreys. Black men were spearheading house music and had everybody on the dance floor. Whether you were straight, gay, trans, everybody was on the floor. Everyone was respected and everyone just really took the momentum and just created something beautiful. And that was what I wanted to do with Black Boy Wonder Man because nobody dances in the club no more. And if I'm paying $20 to get in a club, if I don't sweat, then the DJ hasn't done their job. I was so afraid of people smelling the gay on me that when I got off stage, I would get beat the fuck up and I was so afraid of that. And to my surprise, it never happened. I would get off stage or go outside or go back into the crowd and then I would get love. And that was a turning point for me. Cause it was like, yo, like maybe it's me being hard on myself and maybe I should just go out there and just do what the fuck I'm going to do. So at this particular point, I'm now at a place to where I don't give a fuck. You're going to get this black boy one me and you're going to fucking love it. And if you don't, then it's kind of your problem. But I just wanted to be at a place to where I was comfortable and I loved myself enough on stage to be me. Oh, 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 oh,